Hey guys, it's Eric. Today I'm gonna to be bringing you a review on the SALTS Natural Advance one-piece ostomy appliance. Let's get started. So SALTS. SALTS isn't a common name in North America, but it is a fairly big brand in the UK, and they've got some pretty amazing products. Now, the one that I'm going to be talking about today is their One Piece. Now, this is the Confidence Natural Advance. It's got a few really neat features that I think um, might impress you. They certainly impressed me. However, how it works is the ultimate say in my experience. So uh, let's take a look and see what this thing has to offer. So one of the things I noticed right away when I first took this out of the box is just how soft the fabric is. Now it is an opaque uh, material that does block out most of your uh, output uh, inside the bag so you can't really see it. And it's super soft to the touch. It feels really comfortable on the skin. However, I find that it absorbs a lot of water after showers. And for some people who are in and out of water a lot, that may be a bit of a problem. Uh, you know, you can get it dry, but it is something that I found just to be a little bit annoying. Now, another thing you're going to notice about this bag is that it has an inspection window. Now, this inspection window is something that I really appreciate on opaque bags. It helps me to, uh, first of all, fit a one-piece appliance on a lot better than not having it. Um, and for some people who don't want to go fully transparent, that's a really good compromise, I would say. Now it's also good to check the contents of your pouch just in case you're not sure whether or not you have gas or whether or not you have to empty your bag. And it also allows you to inspect the wear around your stoma uh, and make sure that the integrity of the wafer is still holding out nicely. Now one thing that you'll notice that is pretty unique and this is part of the feature set of this appliance is the fact that the filter is all the way down here. Now I'm gonna show you a dissection of this bag uh, in a few moments, but uh, let me get through the rest of this and then I'll get back to that. But it is an unusual spot and there's a couple of reasons behind that. I'm gonna make my way down to the bottom of the bag here and uh, one of the nice things that I appreciate on this bag is the fact that the bottom of the outlet is a solid color, it's opaque. I've used certain appliances where this part is actually clear and that poses a lot of problems. Um, first of all, when you do have the bag closed, a lot of the times with those clear outlets, you can kind of still see what's inside your bag and it's, it's pretty obvious what's in there. Uh, this helps to mask it, so that's, that's obviously a good thing. As far as the closure goes on this appliance, um, this uses a Velcro-like closure. Now, when I say Velcro-like, uh, it's, there's like really, really fine hooks on this. It's not like a traditional Velcro. And these hooks do attach to this soft piece of material, which is not exactly the same as the hooks, or I should say the fabric parts that you would find on traditional Velcro. So it is quite a bit different. Now, I personally would prefer Velcro. So something like what Colaplast has, which is like a traditional Velcro. I prefer that style, although this works quite well. Uh, I've had no cases where it, you know, it's come off on its own uh, or anything like that. It is very easy to like open and close. There, you don't have to like put a lot of pressure there. You're not struggling to open this. Um, it works quite well. Now some people might feel that there's probably not a lot of grip and they would probably prefer to have more grip. Uh, but as I mentioned, I've never had this like open up on me or anything like that. And another thing is once you actually roll this appliance up, you can tuck it away on the inside here. There's actually a portion. I'll see if I can get this on camera properly. 
But once you've closed this bottom part out, uh, you don't have to let it dangle here. You can actually take this fabric piece and get it to stick in the middle there. And then you can basically close this all up and you know it, it stays like that. Now I do find that after a few days, uh, some of the material starts to like fall apart and wear out a bit. Um, and I find that this tends to be down more than it stays up. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a little annoying. It, it doesn't compromise how the, the bag fits or anything like that, but I would prefer that it stays up. I mentioned that the fabric starts to kind of fall apart and stuff. Uh, I've noticed that's true for the rest of the bag as well. I especially notice that after showers, um, after the bag is wet. It, it sort of just falls apart. It, it kind of, I don't know, it separates and you can see that it's not holding out uh, as well as it should. So, you know, you, you get that softness initially, but the bag de degrades eventually. Um, it's probably not as bad as the Hollister bags. I've, I've obviously seen a lot worse, but it is something that I've noticed and it's not as good as some of the other brands that I've seen. So coming around the back here, uh, the back has a, a couple of really unique uh, features about this. You'll notice here that it's got these little slits. Now these slits help the bag, or I should say help the wafer to conform onto essentially any size body. So you'll notice on traditional hydrocolloid wafers, and when I say hydrocolloid, I mean the thicker type of wafers, not the tape border wafers. Uh, traditionally what you'll find is on these hydrocolloid wafers that don't have these little slits on there, you tend to notice a lot of wrinkling um, around the edges and that's something that I, that I don't notice on this product uh, and I do feel that these little slits help with that. Now if you have a hernia or if you have a bulge or anything like that on your abdomen, wearing this kind of design should work better for you versus some of the more rigid hydrocolloids. Uh, or some of the other uh, hydrocolloids that don't have these slits. So keep that in mind if, um, if you happen to have that type of body shape. Now the wafer itself has another unique feature and that's the fact that it has aloe in it. Um, whether or not that's just a marketing gimmick or whether or not that actually helps with your skin, you know, I don't know. Uh, my skin after wearing this product for several weeks has looked pretty good. So, you know, maybe there's something to that. Now I will say that this wafer contains gelatin, so it is not a vegan wafer. So thumbs down for that, unfortunately. Um, maybe at some point they're gonna change that up. I know some manufacturers have switched over to non-gelatin base uh, or plant-based or mineral-based ingredients or chemical base. Uh, but unfortunately, salt has gone with a gelatin base for this. And so, you know, if you're a vegan, consider that and consider whether you want to wear that um, at all. So now as far as the wafer goes, a couple of things I do have to mention. When I'm wearing this normally, and by normally I mean when it's just hanging down and I'm not doing anything, I'm not wearing any accessories or anything like that, I find that the edges of the wafer tend to start to peel a bit. Now I find that that's, that's something that happens a lot on these thicker hydrocolloids. I don't notice that happening on tape border wafers, but I do notice it happening a lot on hydrocolloid and this is not an exception. I will say, however, if I'm wearing any kind of accessory band or anything that puts a little more pressure on there, that problem seems to go away. So you can approach that two ways. If you're someone that wears an accessory band or like an ostomy wrap or something like that, then it's, it's basically, I don't think it's gonna be an issue for you. If, however, you're putting on your appliance and you don't plan on wearing anything on top of it, what I would suggest is to hold your hand over your wafer or heat that wafer up before you put it on and put a bit of pressure on there for several minutes. And that'll help that adhesive to really bond better. And you know that may eventually still happen after two or three days, but it'll certainly limit that from happening. Now, while that does happen, I have to say, and this, this really, really impresses me, I haven't had any leaks with this wafer, despite the fact that it balloons a lot on me. And for those of you who have watched some of my other videos, uh, when I talk about ballooning, when I talk about leaks, for me, they tend to go hand in hand. So if I have ballooning at night, there, there's, it's almost likely that I'm gonna have leaks at some point if that continues. And uh, what tends to happen is basically there's a lot of pressure that builds up in the bag. 
puts a lot of pressure around the stoma and you know that gas needs to escape somewhere. If it's not coming out the filter, well, it's gonna try to get back underneath your wafer and the, the weakest part is gonna be around where you've cut that hole for your stoma. On this, it, it basically doesn't happen. Okay, that does, the leaks don't happen, at least not for me. And uh, in some cases, I've tried to really push this appliance to see whether or not it would break and it didn't break. So I'm very impressed by that. Now, as far as the wear time goes, uh, I've been wearing this appliance. I tend to change them out after about three days. Now, that's not to say that the wafer is degraded or eroded in any way after three days. It still holds up very nicely. Uh, but I've worn it even f four days and it's still not a problem. I'm actually really impressed by the way the wafer holds out. It doesn't erode like some of the other products that I've used. However, I will say that it's not perfect. So there is a bit of stool that I'll notice just around the stoma. That's probably normal, especially after like three or four days. But on my skin, it doesn't seem to cause any irritation. And again, it doesn't interrupt the integrity of the wafer in a way that would cause it to leak or anything like that. So top notches for that. That's definitely a, a nice bonus. Now, for those who also have watched other uh, videos, you'll know that I like to wear my bag sideways, and I have tried using this sideways. I will say that it kind of works. Um, you know, it holds in place well, it functions well, everything is fine. But because there's a lot of layers in this, and I'll show you why there's a lot of layers in this, but there's, because there's a lot of layers in this bag, I just find that it's not as easy to get the output to drain 100% with thicker stool. And I tend to have thicker output with my ileostomy. Now that's not something that I would usually find on um, bags that just have like, like a single plastic layer on the front, especially not with the opaque fabric. When I'm wearing um, a bag, in an accessory band, I tend to have it just transparent, single layer plastic. That to me is the easiest. It's like the most minimalistic uh, design. But this has a couple of layers and, and that uh, interferes a little bit, but it's not too bad. Now the particular bag that I've been wearing, this is the standard size. They do have a size larger than this. And if I were to be using this like long term, I would tend to go with larger size bags. So that's something to keep in mind. I do believe they actually have a smaller size than this as well, but this is kind of the standard size and they call it the standard size. So that's kind of what you would expect. Now, even with my ileostomy, I find that the smaller size, this size here, I didn't find like I was rushing to empty it more often or you know that it was getting full more often or anything like that. It just felt normal. Like it didn't feel like I was a size smaller than I would normally go. So that's, that's a nice thing too. Now let's get on to the dissection of this bag because I, I really wanted to take this apart and just see what some of the things were inside of this. So let's take a look. Okay, so this is a stripped down bag. I've removed the opaque covering from it. I've cut apart some of these layers here so you can see. And this is something that Salts is pretty proud of is their filter system. Now I will say, unfortunately, the filter system didn't work for me. For, for whatever reason, I had ballooning like every single day, which is really unusual because with my usual appliance that I wear, I don't tend to get ballooning at all, at least not in the first, you know, three, four days. Uh, but I was getting ballooning very quickly on this and I don't know why. Uh, so your, you know, your mileage may vary. You may not get any ballooning, especially once I show you why you may not get ballooning. But let's take a look inside of this thing. So the hole for your stoma is obviously in the back. Your stoma would stick out here. And what you have is this first layer of plastic. Now this layer of plastic helps to divert your stool down. And one of the really cool things is once it goes down, it, it actually can't really go back up that easily, at least not to get back to that filter, which is usually the problem when we talk about clogged filters, is that output getting on the filter, kind of clogging it up that way. But the, the way these, this internal uh, bag is designed is it kind of prevents that from happening. So I think they call that the, um, uh, oh geez, let, let, me, let me actually see what they call it here. It's the non-return valve, which makes perfect sense here, but they call it the non-return valve. And that seems to work pretty good. Uh, when I'm actually looking through the inspection window, I don't notice that I'm getting any kind of pancaking or any of the output like staying stuck near, near the top of the bag, which is something I would normally see. Uh, so that, that's showing me that at least something works there. 
Now underneath this layer is a, it feels almost like a fabric, but it's kind of, it feels like it's made of like plastic, if that makes any sense. Now it has these tiny holes in it, and that's to allow gas to go through, right? Air to go through, but not output. So it traps that output. And one of the really cool things is it, once it traps the output or once it prevents the output from passing that layer, the output goes straight down because there's these like little holes in here that allows it to go straight down, which is kind of cool. Now, in that second layer is actually where you'll find uh, the filter. Now, the filter is like all the way down here. So you'll notice it like channels all the way down and then it gets to the filter. So the idea is gas is going to come into your bag. There's like a tiny little cut right there. You can see it's like a little S. Now that's basically where the gas would come through the bag and then go through the other process. It's like an obstacle course basically for gas. And really the idea behind it is, you know, let's prevent output from getting anywhere near that filter and let's only let gas get there. And gas is going to travel easier than any of your output will. So in theory, that should work very well. I would suspect that it's going to work for a lot of people. I honestly don't know why it failed for me. By all accounts, it should have worked phenomenally well. And I'm, I'm really actually disappointed that it didn't work because that was one feature that I really wanted to see whether or not it would work for me, but it didn't. So give it a shot. If you have tried it and it has been working to prevent ballooning for you, please let me know in the comment section. I'd be very, very interested in knowing what your experience was like with that. Now I want to get back to talking about the outlet here. One of the pet peeves that I have with outlets is whether or not, first of all, they're easy to open and whether or not they're easy to clean. With some bags, um, <laughs> I'm going to knock on you Hollister because Jesus, I, this is a big problem that I have with your bags. Uh, the outlet is not easy to open. And oftentimes with Hollister bags, I actually have to crease that in order to, to allow it to open up or else it just sticks together and then it's like a nightmare to open up. This bag here is very easy to open up. You'll notice here that uh, even with one hand I can open it up and it's pretty easy to clean out. Now there are a couple of spots on the inside of the bag that's, that there's always something left over there and I'm always trying to kind of dig it out with uh, paper or um, tissue paper uh, or toilet paper I should say. I'm always trying to clean it out. There's like always some little spot there. That's more of an annoyance. I find that it doesn't really uh, cause any problems. I don't notice odor or anything like that because of that. So, you know, depending on how, you know, much of an OCD problem you have, that may or may not be an issue. That's just a pet peeve that I have. Now, one really interesting thing that I found about this bag uh, and, and the outlet is this little tab. Now, you're kind of thinking, what does this tab do? Like, is it to help close this? Like, does it help you? Like, what does this do? Now, whether this is by design or not, and I honestly don't know, um, when I'm emptying my appliance, this is actually something that you can kind of hold on to and then squeeze your output out, almost as if you're holding like a great big hose and you have like this handle on the end of the hose. I almost feel like that's what's happening with this little tab. And if it is by design, if that's, that, if that's what it's for, then kudos to Salts. That's a really cool idea. Um, I'm glad you added that in there. Traditionally, if, if you didn't have this tab, you would have to hold the bag here. You would have to maybe open it depending on how thick your output is. Um, and, and sometimes that is hard to hold. It may slip. If you're in a certain situation where you're emptying in the middle of the night, uh, you may be groggy or tired. It's so much easier to just hold on to that little tab and just, you know, let your output fall out or, you know, like squeeze it out than it is to hold the bottom, you know, and, and, and maybe your hands get soiled or something. I've been there a few times, trust me. Um, so that's a really cool idea. I appreciate that that's in there. Other than that, honestly, uh, this bag is really comfortable to wear. I don't notice it tugging uh, even when the bag is getting full. There are no belt tabs on here, belt loops, which is tends to be very common with one piece systems. Uh, you don't expect that the bag is gonna come off. The wafer itself is quite large and it accommodates large size stomas and small size stomas. This is a cut to fit. But the area, the surface area that this has on your skin is large enough so that it does offer a lot of support there. So, you know, that's a really great thing. For me, I find it to be quite comfortable. Um, you know, overall, honestly, this is a good bag. I don't really have any major issues other than that ballooning thing. And that 
that kind of uh, is a deal breaker for me. Um, and so is the fact that it has gelatin. I personally wouldn't go for this product because it has gelatin uh, as a first choice. But if I was left with nothing else to wear and, and this is all that I had, honestly, this is a good product. So uh, I'm curious to know how it's worked for you. For me, I would say that it is a recommended one piece. It definitely works. It's comfortable. You know, the outlet isn't annoying. It's got the opaqueness the way it should have it. You know, it's got the see-through window. It doesn't wrinkle up or anything like that. You know, ballooning doesn't seem to affect uh, leaking on this thing. You know, there's just so many positives here and very few negatives. But if that filter does work for you, then this honestly is going to be an extremely nice one piece product. And I think you're really going to like it. I will say also with the filter, you do get these little stickers and these stickers are meant to go on your filter if you're getting in the shower or anything like that because you don't want that filter to clog from the outside. Now there is like a little membrane here. There's a little like, um, like a sticker that is to help really prevent liquid from passing in and out, but it does allow gas to go through. I don't think that's gonna protect the, the filter from showers or anything like that. So just keep that on. If your filter is working for you, and if you find that it's working too well for you, what you might notice is this vacuum effect. So you may notice your, your bag like has so little air in it, it's actually sticking together like a vacuum. If that's happening, you're gonna wanna put that sticker on there and uh, that will prevent, well, that will allow some gas to build up in there and help you know, the walls of the pouch to expand a little bit and you know, prevents it from sticking. And then when you need to, you can kind of take that sticker off, it'll release that gas, assuming your filter still works fine and um, you, you won't have any gas in your bag again. So you can use that trick uh, if you have that vacuuming effect, but that really shouldn't be too much of an issue. That's it guys. Um, if you've tried this, let me know what you think. I hope you like this review. Salts isn't an easy product to get in North America. Uh, I was fortunate enough to get it through these samples uh, through a distributor in Montreal here in Canada. Uh, the company is called Argyle. And, um, you know, they've, they've done a fantastic job supplying me these. I really appreciate their help with that. There are a few other places that do carry salts, but it's not a very common brand, at least not yet. Anyway, guys, have a good one. Take care.